Today, I'm introducing a fun little challenge that can prove your understanding of pointers and dynamic memory allocation in C. So basically, we're trying to create a jagged 2D array. That's essentially an array, a 2D array, where each row may have a different number of columns. Here's an example. So we have this 2D array of characters. So it's going to be essentially an array of strings. As we can see here, we have only six characters, six indices, including the null terminator. And this one has nine, and this one's going to have 14. However, when you try and type this in C, you're going to get this error, something like this. Incomplete type is not allowed. Well, that's because we didn't, we declared an array of an unknown size. It doesn't know how many columns to allocate for. So this, this won't work. You could set this right here to 14, but the problem with that is that wastes memory because in hello, I'm only using six characters and everyone I'm only using nine. So that wastes memory. So how can we be as memory efficient as possible? Well, we have to make a jagged 2D array. And how do we make that in C properly? In order to do this, we need to understand pointers and dynamic memory allocation. So if you're not 100% solid on these concepts, or if you're having a hard time understanding the solution that I present, then I highly recommend reviewing these concepts as well. So give this problem a try, pause the video, and then when you're ready, resume as we go through the answer. Here we go. So first, let's create the jagged 2D array in the first place. So first, we declare the number of strings just to make it easier. Then we declare a double pointer. This is a double pointer because it's a 2D array. So it's an array of arrays. So that's why it's a 2D array. So we malloc the number of strings si times the size of the character pointer, because again, this is an array of character pointers, essentially an array of strings or a 2D array of characters. So that's why we have that there. Next, let's add some strings to it. So I made this function up here called add node. What this does is first we malloc the size of the string plus one, do not forget your null terminator. That will cause issues. Then we multiply that by the size of a character at, by our convention. So this allocates the, um, the memory. And then we copy the value that was passed into the string. And you're probably wondering why is this a double pointer? The reason why, if we go and add our nodes, that's because we're passing in the address of the pointer itself, as this is a 2D array. So we're passing in the memory address of where this pointer is is so that's a double pointer because it points to a pointer so um so then we just add some string here's this so we see that's um 12 and this is 18 this is uh, going to be 17 and then there's a bunch of them and for fun i decided to add this last one over here this one if we look this is 1232 this is a massive string fun fact you can declare a string on multiple lines like this if you add these um, backwards uh, slashes. So yeah, I just I just pasted like the older an older copy of this program in there. Then we can print the contents of the jagged two D array by iterating through the number of strings, and then we just print it like this. So I printed the length of the string as the number, and then the string itself surrounded in quotes, and then they all go on one line each one line at a time. Then we can free the contents. Of course, to free, in order to, pre to prevent us a memory leak, we loop through all of the strings themselves because remember, each individual string was dynamically allocated when we added the node. So um, we have to loop through those like that. Then we can free the string itself because now all of its contents have been freed anyway. And then to prevent a dangling pointer, we can set it to null. Now let's see what happens when we run this. So when we run this, as we see, we get all of, we get each different string, and we even get the the program right there. And that's how we can create a jagged 2D array in C. Thank you for watching this video, and have a good day.